So when I uh, when I applied for the advanced management program, I was actually supposed to be in the cohort that was completely, you know, immersive and here. So it was pre-COVID. And when I found out that it was actually going to be separated, it, it made me hesitate a little bit. I, I have to be honest, it made me hesitate. But then at the end of the day, I, I'd have to say I wouldn't have it any other way. It was a really... I think they really designed the program so well that we could actually learn in one week, bring it back, you know, to our environments, to our work, and actually start applying it. I was very impressed in how the design of the program allowed us to truly connect. I think that is the piece that I really have no idea how they figured it out. I mean, I think that's probably the X factor in the program is how they were able to really create both sessions, interactions that could really get all of us connected. I mean, really across the globe. So that's, I mean, that was one of the best things, I think. So before this journey or before the transformation, right, everybody, and myself, I could easily see myself. I'll treat my patients. I will, you know, I'll treat my, um, a lot of my patients. I have my panel. I go into the field of medical informatics and I could use my medical brain, so to speak, into helping do the translation for the design of electronic health information systems. But really little that I, I mean, I didn't realize that after the program, I'm like, oh my goodness, I had, no clue that I could actually contribute to to a much bigger scale. You know, our social enterprise project is actually looking into helping those who are food insecure. And for those who are actually food insecure, that, that ties up to social determinants of health, which really ties up to population health initiatives. And that is something that I was very much interested in because I'm a primary care physician, but that's the stretch, is going from one patient to taking care of populations. That's part of what I discovered that I could actually help find solutions for that. As far as my transformation journey, it's finding myself before Wharton saying, okay, this is how I could, could contribute as a physician. This is how I could actually contribute to the health system. And now that's transformed to, this is how I could actually contribute to the health system as a global leader.